So I started bikepacking in 2010, not that long ago in the big picture. And believe it or not, I've actually never used a rack with panniers. I always found that a seat pack got the job done, especially with the terrain I find myself riding on. But using a rack and dry bag over the last year plus or so, I found this system offers similar capacity, but with more convenience and expandability, plus it's very dropper post friendly. And when a rack is as easy to install as the Ortlieb Quick Rack, it makes getting ready for your trip that much easier. So in today's video, I'm gonna share my thoughts on the new Quick Rack from Ortlieb. Let's do it. All right, so before we move forward, I just wanna let folks know that this video is supported in part by Salsa Cycles. The Journeyer is designed to be a gateway to a wide range of cycling experiences, whether riding or racing gravel, going bikepacking, or loading up with racks and panniers, or frankly, just riding around town. Journeyer's long and low geometry boosts stability, increasing rider confidence, all at a very inviting price point. So to learn a little bit more about the Journeyer, you can click on the card right here, or also find a link in the description below. All right, so the thing about Ortlieb is their products are really well engineered and thought out. Take the Seatpack QR, for example, a unique system that adjusts and mounts to the seat rails using their seat lock attachment system. It's really neat and pretty unique. So the Ortlieb Quick Rack and Quick Rack Lite are no different. And while they might not be entirely unique with some similarities to the Tailfin Aero Pack, it's certainly different enough and much easier on the bank account. All right, so while I didn't test the Ortlieb Quick Rack Lite, the main difference basically between the two racks is the platform on the top. Both racks are made out of aluminum rather than steel, and the hardware is made out of some sort of injected molded plastic. So Ortley mentions that the aluminum material for a bicycle rack is proven, and it also allows them to keep the price point more attainable. For reference here, while Ortlieb is not a huge rack maker, they have had a few racks over the years, including the Rack 3, which has been around in some capacity since 2017. So Ortlieb's Quick Rack has a weight capacity of 15 kilograms, or roughly 33 pounds, and it comes in at a weight of 594 grams with a bit of dirt and all of the hardware to use it the way I did. All right, so what you get in the quick rack is you've got the rack itself, you've got uh, two struts, it comes with two struts, a quick release mounting hardware, and a QL 3.1 mount that works specifically with some of Ortlieb's panniers. This rack is also compatible with the QL 2.1, QL 1, and top lock systems. So the rack comes with a U-shaped cutout and levers that are riveted at the rear dropout of the rack. These fit into the provided pegs that thread into rear rack mounts on your bike. Or if your bike does not have those mounts, the rack will also work with their seat stay adapters, which are available for an additional 30 USD. So after positioning the rack on the pegs, you push up on the riveted lever to lock into place, and you will know that you're locked in when it snaps into place. It's definitely a solid feeling. So the quick release attachment point that goes around your seat post or seat tube is a little bit more complicated. So the rack comes with this little uh, molded plastic piece that I mentioned, which accepts and tightens down the strut. So inside that piece is a little bushing that allows the system to hinge. More on this soon. Another plastic bit on the other end of the strut incorporates an adjustable strap to wrap and tighten to your seat post or seat tube. So once you find the correct strap length, all you have to do is tighten it down and then turn the locking hook to lock it into place. So yes, it was definitely a little complicated and strange to kind of figure out at first, but after you fit it once, it's dialed and you can remove it and install it with ease. Ortlieb claims that it takes 15 seconds to install and five seconds to uninstall, and that's pretty accurate. The biggest problem with racks in general is the installation process, which is why this rack and the Tailfin Aero Pack are so appealing. So instead of trying to hold up a rack and position it perfectly so that you can thread a bolt into a mount, all you need to do is install a peg and then install the rack to the pegs. And because the rack itself is not fixed or rather pivots at the pegs and hinges at the strut, this system is intended to work with full suspension bikes. So I only tested this briefly as my last trip was not on a full suspension bike. It worked, but the seat stay adapters are definitely a pain to install. They are the same type of adapter that comes with the um, Ortlieb Fork Pack, another really neat Ortlieb product I reviewed a while back. Anyways, as it goes with 
Ortlieb, once you figure them out, they are relatively easy to work with. The strut mount that attaches the strut to the rack hinges, as I mentioned. So because of this, I can see, say, a dry bag maybe wearing over time if this kind of piece rubs into it. That being said, they did think about this and it is a little bit rounded and has somewhat of a lower profile. Also worth mentioning is that the seat stay adapters are not meant to be used on carbon bikes, but rather steel, titanium, and aluminum. Ortley mentions that the rack works with 26 through 29 inch tires and maxes out at 29 by 2.35 inch tires, but I don't see why it wouldn't fit a larger volume tire. I've actually been testing the rack mostly on an Atzo Fenrir with 2.4 inch Maxxis Aspens, which measure out to 2.45 on 27 millimeter rims. And the rack has a lot of extra clearance on both sides and on the top. Perhaps if you're using say uh, their add-on fender or with a paneer, I could probably see a little bit more limited clearance there. But if you're using it like me with just a dry bag, I see no reason why you can't go with a larger tire volume. Overall, the installation, while not wholly intuitive, is pretty simple in the end, and Ortlieb's install video and instructions were definitely beneficial. All right, so I've used the quick rack on a couple of bike packing trips recently, and I've been surprised by its durability, as I had a little bit of hesitation with the single strut system right off the bat. One thing I should have done a little bit of a better job of was tightening down the quick release attachment point that goes around the seat post. I thought I had mine tight, but it started kind of wiggling or sh moving its way up uh, the seat post. So I ended up realizing this actually after I shot a photo of my bike, I saw that the extra or the end of the strut almost hit the rear tire. Uh, so I loosened up the strap, tugged on it, tightened it down, and turned the locking hook 180 degrees to lock it into place. And since then I've had no issues with it staying in place. One change I wouldn't mind seeing on this rack is a slightly larger top platform. That way I could rest my dry bag and poles on top before strapping down. The narrow top certainly makes strapping a dry bag and poles down a little bit trickier than say the Tumbleweed T-Rack, which has a really nice wide platform. Still, once I strapped down uh, my dry bag poles and tie back ground cloth, it stayed put during my day of riding. So riding with the rack, I couldn't identify any real ride quality differences with this rack versus any other rack I've tested. It remained solid and quiet, and especially over some pretty chunky two track dirt roads and a touch of single track. And after my most recent trip, I checked the hardware and it's still as tight as I left it, which is definitely reassuring. So I only ended up actually carrying my poles, a Tyvek sheet and my tent sleeping bag and pad, which equals about six pounds or so. So I definitely didn't stress it out too much. All right, so one piece that might wear out over time is this quick release strap, but you can always continue to tighten it up uh, when that does happen. If you are worried, one may wanna carry some extra screws or hardware just in case, but Ortlieb did mention that this product, um, as with all of their products, underwent rigorous testing. So while I never tested this rack with panniers, Logan did, and this is what he had to say about that. The rack is pretty simple, but has a clever design that features an angled lower pannier rail. When mounted in this position, it tilts the pannier rearward to allow additional heel clearance. This is a nice touch, not only for the sake of space, but it moves the weight lower. I used the quick rack on multiple occasions and switched from having the panniers mounted to the top rail to the lower one, and it functions well either way. Overall, the quick rack is a simple yet versatile solution for a rear cargo system. And coming in at 100 USD or 130 USD with those seat stay mounts, it has tremendous value. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on the Ortlieb quick rack. Let me know in the comment section below. And I just wanna let you all know that if you're looking for racks like this, similar racks like this, we have a great gear index on bikepacking.com and that is linked below. If you like what you saw in this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell and consider joining the Bikepacking Collective. Support from our members helps sustain this channel and really everything we do here at bikepacking.com. The collective has a lot of perks, including the twice annual bikepacking journal, monthly giveaways, just to name a few. So for more details, click on the card in the top right corner, or you can also find a link in the description below. As always, thank you all so much for watching, and until next time, pedal further.